is like a scene from the movie The Land of the Giants. You know, when you're about twice the size as everything in the town. And if you're an adult, well, you're taller than the stop signs. But this village here in Oakville is for children, and they learn at an early age something they'll be in store for in the future. These grade two students from Georgetown, Ontario, are heading for an afternoon in road safety. The setting is a scaled down version of a neighborhood in Ontario. Child-sized versions of actual businesses line the streets. It's called the Children's Safety Village and cost the Halton Region Police Force $300,000 to create. But what a show place. I don't believe it's a, a new concept. I can remember seeing small ones, like portable ones in other, other areas over the years, but this is the elite of safety villages. We're very proud of this village. It's uh, only one of three in North America. And uh, people from, delegates from all over the world come around. We're going to learn and we're going to have fun. What we're going to do is talk about some different signs and signals. We're going to go through a walk through of the village. And then you're going to get a chance to practice what you've learned by, yes, riding those little cars. Now, I, I know you'll be 17,000 school children have visited the village since it opened two years ago. And most have been taught by Sue Delaney. She begins the village experience with a classroom briefing and then a walk around the village. The safety rules never change, but the answers from the children do. Do police officers take mom and dad to jail if they've been speeding? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> do you think so? No, well, what might happen, Nicholas? They might give them a ticket. If they, they catch them speeding again, they might put them in jail. No, you know what? We don't put moms and dads in jail yeah. for speeding. Jails are only for bad people. What we're going to do... We have three programs. In the fall, we run grade two, which will be approximately the age of seven. And they do sign and signal recognition. Kindergartens do pedestrian safety. We have little circuits for them to do. And grade four, we do the ever-popular bicycle safety. The children are off and driving, and some encounter car trouble. But for the most part, the commuters seem to be enjoying themselves. Diana, how are you enjoying the village so far? It's fun. What are you learning? Uh, just like what, when you go in, when you stop, and stuff like that. I noticed earlier on you were having a little bit of car trouble there. What happened? Well, I crashed into Crystal. <laughs> so Sherry, tell us a couple of the things that you learned today at the Safety Village. I learned how to stop and um, how to stop when at trail roads. Did you make any mistakes? Um, I don't know, I guess. Um, well, I've been run over several times, <laughs> but besides that, um, kids, a lot of children, oddly enough, will say it's boring standing at a red light. And you say, yeah, yeah, sometimes it is, but it, it's better for safety. Some of them actually admit that it's difficult to drive. And, you know, a lot of times kids feel that they're invincible. Some of them really do find it to be difficult. They find it very interesting that suddenly they have to wait their turn. There's a lot of different things that are, they're actually life skills oriented at the village. If things get too confusing on the road, the young drivers can always seek refuge at a nearby gas station. So what are you doing, Sean? Um, just getting gas. Are you regular or unleaded? Unleaded. What are some of the problems that the kids have? Um, left and right seems to be a biggie. They, uh, they don't quite get the uh, right side of the road. Also, it's difficult for them to understand things like taking their own turn to stop, looking in all directions, um, the one-way street poses a problem because they're so used to being carefree. They're not necessarily careless. But they're carefree. What are some of the things that you like about the village? Um, driving the cars. Do you think you're going to be a good driver when you grow up? Yeah. <laughs> they go home with, uh, with an understanding that they have to be careful all the time. Among the obvious things of what each sign means, I'm sure a lot of them also go home with the idea of, well, we better leave mom alone when she's driving the car because it is very difficult. Bye, Amanda. Take care.
Well, let's see if we can have a quiet bus ride home. What do you think the chances are of that, guys?